Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be installing a winch on a trailer. Uh, you can see this one's clearly already installed. And this is what we're gonna be doing, is just simply copying this idea. All of my trailers now, either I ordered it with the two inch receiver hitch already on it, or I added it afterwards. This one I just ordered the winch plate because I didn't actually know what my plan was for this trailer, but I knew I wanted a winch. But since I already had receiver hitches on everything, I built this nice little heavy duty platform so I can take this winch, Put it on that trailer. See there, got a nice little receiver hitch on the big diamond. Back of a pickup's got a receiver hitch. Front of the pickup has a receiver hitch. The old faithful Texas Pride has a receiver hitch. You get where I'm going. I can have one winch swap over on multiple different trailers, trucks, and everything. I don't need to buy multiple winches because I can just use the same one and hook it up with the receiver hitches. Today, I want to put one on this trailer. Now, I did buy that trailer to replace this one. There's still a couple vehicles that I have that this thing actually works perfect for, but if they're not running, it's kind of difficult to get them on there. And since I have the technology, i.e. a welder, I'd like to add a receiver hitch right in here. Now, this is where it gets tricky because I thought I could put it right here on this one because it's got a nice bar, but the tilt deck goes too steep and it covers it up. I'm gonna have to add another bar Bought this little guy, pretty cheap, at Napa, and we're going to mount that up there. So let's go get the tractor and get this thing packed down to the shop. This thing eats up a lot of real estate. Whew. Shoot, that thing sticks out. Takes my 16 foot trailer and it'll take it to like a 15 with all that sticking out there. Well, not much I could do about it. So, oh well, let's get this finished welded up and then uh, let's go pick up the new project, which is an old project, but it's a super old project. And it's gonna have a 4BT in it, so. All right, let's get this finish welded. Well, there she is, all said and done. Not bad for an hour project. Seems kind of funny that takes an hour. Like 12 welds, one cut, still took an hour. <laughs> Whatever. I'm happy with it, she'll do the job. We'll see you guys in the morning. And we're picking up the new old project. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, here for warranty work. That little barricade was full of water, is what happened. Surprised me. Oh, oh, she still has a little bit of hair in them. They're on blocks. That's good. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Dude, <laughs> outlaw life. We've got to repo our truck back. Yeah. City didn't pay enough. Take her own truck back. First things first, little dogger need to air up the tires. Well, I guess we'll see which ones are flat, flat first. Let's, this one's flat right here. 
Um, well, let's air it up before we drop it down. Where'd this come from? This nice lock. Well, there she is, guys. They couldn't make the payments. We're repossessing it. <laughs> now, this is my uh, 1967 D100 Dodge pickup. I lent it to the city during the holiday season so they could use it as a, uh, I don't know, a little bit of a gimmick of an old town. Used an old farm truck as a holiday decoration. Each one of the seasons came through. They had skeletons for Halloween driving the truck. Santa Claus is driving it. And it was good fun. But now that the holiday season's over, we snuck down in there on a Saturday, repossessed it. It is a uh, factory 318 truck, I believe, but we're going to put a 4BT Cummins in this thing. I already got the new frame, the running gear, and everything out of a 94 Dodge with a 5-speed to go behind it. Well, we had it up on block, so if the, if the tires went flat, it didn't look um, so trashy. But we aired up the tires with my little Harbor Freight air compressor. Got the blocks out from underneath it. Now we're going to be testing out the new winch on the trailer. And it was a little bit of a struggle bus. I don't know what Austin, he's playing soccer with that thing. All right, the old redirect trick. All right, hang on. Well, you see this thing? It's old, old this school thing. iron right there. The little, it's clicking the circuit breaker. We got the tank after this thing. We're going to have to bypass this thing and just go full juice. <laughs> this is the same winch that pulled the tiny house up on the trailer. Oh, is it shit out right now? Yeah. Click, 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 click. Come here, Kayla, so people know what I'm talking about. You have to let it click three times. It, no, I'm only letting it fail once, so it's... Only one of the circuit breakers is clicking off. Yeah. Well, last time we used this thing, he was crossing screwdrivers and stuff because we forgot this. Mother trucker. Just a little bit farther. <laughs> Spot like deer out of this thing. <laughs> you look at him now. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a battery. No battery. It's like no good for me right here. Dang freaking winch. <laughs> Needs like a DeWalt battery. They clicked twice. We're getting pretty serious. <laughs> Needs like another inch and then um, I think I gotta let it off so that it don't feel. Alright, put the brake on. <laughs> I'd say it's tight. She ain't going nowhere. Again, the issue with the 16-foot trailer is not much fits on a 16-foot tilt trailer. Kick that. Just double check. 
I drove straight out last time. I think it should be good. What do you think? Responsibility. It's all about responsibility. $70,000 truck. I bet you that truck was only like 2500 bucks brand new. Probably like 900 bucks. Woo! I wonder what it was. What year is that thing? 67. I think. Yeah. She was cheap. She wasn't expensive. Well, for the time. I, I would say it wasn't expensive because it's got crank windows. It was nothing fancy. I'm assuming it was a base model. Yeah. Did they even have electric windows back then? Yeah. The 318, probably in that thing. Numbers matching, except for the transmissions and something else somewhere. What numbers matching? It'll be numbers matching with a four cylinder Cummins. Wait, did I say numbers matching? It yeah. won't be numbers matching. <laughs> numbers matching half of the plane out the ground. Yeah. How much for one of those trucks? I seen one like restored for sixty five hundred bucks. This thing's gonna be worth at least sixty five dollars when we put a Cummins in it. This thing is gonna be worth seventy grand. If we put a hundred grand into it, it'll be worth seventy grand. <laughs> Two thousand bucks. Two thousand and sixty bucks. For what year? I'm trying to figure out the. It's like showing you that. At the end of a high retail, it says thirty grand. With I don't know, fully I restored with like a Hemi in it. <laughs> Shoot, we're sitting on a lot of money right here, boy. I know. Average value thirteen seven. Dang. So if we got seven for this, that'd be pretty good. Seven hundred. Yeah. Somebody's gonna comment. I'll give you seven hundred for the yellow truck. <laughs> no, I got it for free. <laughs> Ten thousand, and it's all yours. You yeah. have to come pick it up. Current value. Condition number no one vehicle. Some best in the world. Excellent price. Twenty six. Good. Thirteen. Fair. Six thousand. I'd say this is fair. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but honesty here, folks. Nothing but honesty. Taylor, Just you said you're to... looking for a little drug. <laughs> this is like about $6,000. Those Craigslist right? ads that say, very little work, just needs a motor. It's like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Things in mint condition, top and bottom, air pressure fluctuates. Yeah. <laughs> Interior, amazing. <laughs> that thing looks like it's been in a junkyard for five months. Got a four-cylinder Cummins in there. P-pumped. 3.9 liter. We need literally that engine... In front of the NV4500 that we, dude, yeah, I, no, not if we put a 6BT in there. <laughs> we could probably, we could make it work. We could make it work. But there's, we got this $6,000 truck we need to work on. That way Kayla's got something to drive. <laughs> Kayla, you run this thing on a diesel. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure my gas yeah, <laughs> I almost had to go over there and get that gas jug because I couldn't find my other one last night. The uh, her new one or my old one? Your old one. Oh. 
go. Let's get this gentleman loaded and then we'll call this video a success. Successfully repoed a truck. That's what I'm calling it. Just as I thought, the damn winch was in a. Uh, what the heck is leaking oil? What is there to leak oil? That's like 60 year old. Oh, it's not that old. The guy said it was parked for 30 years. So that's some good, good old school oil. 31 years, 32 years. Yeah. So the only alternative for this would probably be to put it up here and then have um, snatch block pulley right down there. Because there's not enough room to put it down here because it's tilt deck, it would hit everything. And, well, I mean, it did the job. We didn't really have that much effort to, uh, other than pushing it, because Austin applied the brake too soon. And the damn circuit breakers brake were, had. huh? Whatever brake it had. Yeah. Hey, it's more brakes than we thought it ever had, so. <laughs> but the circuit breaker, that thing breaks good. It shuts us down consistently. It doesn't seem to really get too much of a pull before that thing starts throwing a fit. But uh, Taylor's truck it did good, and uh, we got the yellow truck back. Fresh repo. Thanks to Kayla. She stole it. Yeah. Um, all right. You want to go film a video for a car? 